Howdy! Welcome back. We may be on the home straight. I'm not sure. We're in opening of a wooded area. It reminds me of um, the look of it. Anonymous messages by uh, by games. Huh. Saving content. Beautiful. Okay, so I've got three flares, four glow sticks, and only one pair of pants. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> let's try and be methodical about this, yeah? Okay, I'm going to follow the little bits on the map, because that makes sense. Fuck. Slipping away, losing your way. Huh? Oh, flares. Please, please, please. Yes, yes, I've got four flares. Fantastic. Thank you. So what is going on here? Can I use that? <laughs> or not use it, but you know. <laughs> Fuck. I need remnants. Give me some red little glows. Come on. My finger is... Hovering over number two. This way, that way, this way, that way. Yeah, thanks. You fucking turd. <laughs> Give me red glow. Come on. Can't see you. Can't see you. Doesn't matter. I've got a flare in my hand. There's actually no one there. It's just screams. Right, I've got three flares after this one, so I need to be quick. Come on! So close, and yet so far. Oh, okay. So maybe I'd is there a, maybe there's no remnants in the woods? Maybe I just need to uh, go to this bit over here. Oh, no, no. oh no! There's got to be a key. Yep, there's got to be a key. Fuck! So what's this little- ah ha ha Fuck, okay. So we had to temporarily suspend evacuating the foundation for the new hospital add-on site. One of the workers discovered human remains inside a pine box whilst digging. We haven't told anyone at the hospital yet, and I've asked the team to keep this to themselves while we determine how to proceed. <laughs> the body itself looks really, really old. So I don't think we need to alert anyone if we don't have to, especially with the growing concern over the unfortunate accidents we've had. Okay, right. Whoa! <laughs> Fuck off. So there's some squares on the map. That might be the remnants, because that one was. Not good. Not good. Yes, 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 yes. New Kipling is now partnered up with GNC Investment Corp to renovate Mid Island and eventually establish a hospice care facility. Due to GNC generosity, sections of the Mid Island Hospital have now been renovated and reopened. Once the hospice has been completed, hospital staff will be moved over and the old Mid Island Hospital will be torn down. 
the town of New Kipling is, is excited for the opportunity to revitalize and rebuild a staple of the city's history. Okay, so now I've figured out what's on the map. And where I need to go. Oh, there's some more, there's some more! Okay, uh, pressured by Liberal Councilman Anthony Vusserman, the new Kipling City Council has considered whether or not to investigate safety practices at GNC Investment Corp's Mid-Island Hospice Project, which has been under construction for some time. The project has been set back on three separate occasions by fatal accidents, all involving the deaths of construction workers. In my nine years on the council, I've never seen a more disastrous construction project. GNC have been cited numerous times for safety violations, but this particular project stinks to high heaven and I'm determined to get to the bottom of this said Wasserman at Thursday's council meeting. He was opposed by councilwoman Shirley Johnson, who has been asked by several Labour groups to abstain from the vote due to her connections with GNC Investment Corp. Right, is there any more? Give me some more. No, just the two in here. Fuck off, fuck off. Right, so we've got... Right, so this is where we need to bring the sigil. I'm so fucked. There we go. I'm not turning around. I don't care. I have got a lit flare! I'm not turning around. What is that noise? Give me a glow stick. Ooh, what's this? Yes! What happened to the girl? Is she still in that dark place? I don't know. Four or five remnants. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> this is tough. <laughs> this bit is tough. Mentally, that is. Okay, so Jesse Francis. Um... Yeah, Mr. Francis fell into a trench uh, we had just poured cement into. <laughs> He's alive, but he was moved to the Mid-Island Hospital Emergency to have his lungs checked for inhalation. His replacement is scheduled to come tomorrow. Oh, his replacement worker. Got you. Not lungs. <laughs> Recommending the guards be posted, as this is the third such incident where someone inexplicably fell. Starting to suspect that someone is pushing them. There's the other one. There is six... Uh, number five. Five, 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 five. Shut up. Okay, okay, okay. So I know where the gateway is. I know where the sigil is going to be. <sighs> okay, during the soil test for Mid Island to investigate the practices of CNG investments, an accident with the equipment caused worker Wilson Warner to be crushed to death. Fucking hell. <laughs> there has been at least one other known serious injury, but the details have not been released. The local police department is investigating. Blah, 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 blah. It's here. Where was that place? Where is the sigil? I haven't got flare! Don't you dare kill me. Oh, can I get some more? Yes, yes, yes! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The hell? Oh. There is no escape. There is escape. I and it's this way. Flare. Saving content. Okay. Okay, so I'm glad that we were able to restock up on flares. Oh, no, no, no. Don't fall in.
fan fucking tastic. Attention all employees. It is the company's decision to abandon the Mid Island Hosp Hospice Project. I can't talk for shit today. Let's try again. It is the company's decision to abandon the Mid Island Hospice Building Project. Stop all construction immediately. Any additional work done by the crew will not be sanctioned by C and G investments and will void all contracts. Current workers will be paid out to the end of the month. If you have any questions, please call the main office. Thank you. What have we got up here then, huh? Bit of a bird's eye view of what's going on. Can't climb up. Can't climb up there. There's nothing up here. Why? No. All right. Fair enough. Mid Island renovation has come under scrutiny after several accidents occurred on the site. Injury, death, blah, 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 blah. GNC spokesmen are investigating ground soil, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Joe! During further excavation of the main building basement, 12 graves have been uncovered. Uh, ground sonar has been brought in and something is down. Is definitely down there. The guys and I are planning on digging them up tonight to check them out. I'll keep this on the down low for now until we find out what it is. Probably a damned Indian burial ground or some crap like that. Going to push construction back for months. Let's keep our fingers crossed that it's small enough that we can just forget it is there. Brian... What is that? Oh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> run, 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 run! Okay, that's put me in a bit. And do you see? See what they are doing. Sarah, do not again fall into the blackness. I'm gonna die! Oh, maybe I was meant to run the other way. <laughs> yep, I'm dead. Am I? What's this way? I can't see anything! Yep. Death the Great Equalizer. Okay. Okay, this game seems to have a real problem with loading content. Like when you die or when you load up the game initially, it take it literally takes like fucking five, ten minutes. So I'm gonna worry about picking these notes up because I've already picked them up. Other than that one. Oh no I have. Yep.
Right, okay. I will endeavour not to. Can't go. Hmm. Right, well, I can't really go that way. So that's where I died earlier. Fantastic. I'll have to go this way. Oh, well, hello. What do we have here? Saucy. The egg for home lives in all of us. Please save content. Please save content. Very fucking eerie. Never finding the end, never seeing the beginning. <laughs> okay, so that kind of narrows it down. Hang on a minute. We've been here. We fucking have. We've been here. <gasps> Remember? The office with the... Okay, so I'm trapped. Am I? Maybe I have to go back round. I'm patient 13. He just said hello 13. Concerning patient 13. Surprise the fucking prize. I fear patient 13, born on the premises 7th of July 1987, has a rough future ahead of her. <laughs> After her mother died giving birth, complications with rapid blood loss and a concoction of narcotics present in her system. We've tried everything we can think of to find her a foster family. She's the sweetest baby imaginable and most of the nurses give her extra attention. Shortly after she arrived we did a search for a family in the area but our investigation led us in a curious direction. The name Gwyn apparently has a long and checkered history here. The oldest accounts go back to the legend of the 13 witches who were supposedly killed right here on Mid Island, the graveyard. The surviving Gwyns were apparently run out of town thereafter. I doubt there's a connection, but some of the more superstitious staff can't help but marvel at the coincidence of the number 13, which was the code on the document that we found earlier. <gasps> oh my god, it's all falling into place. While 13 doesn't suffer from fatal alcohol syndrome, she does suffer from periodic blackouts. Some of the doctors on site believe it could be nar narcolepsy, but I'm not convinced due to the other issues. 13 sometimes stares off into space for hours at a time. She never cries for food. She vacillates between being exuberant and catatonic. How will we ever find her a home? Her first foster family brought her back, citing odd behaviour and objects in her room mysteriously relocating overnight. Some of the nurses say her mother cast a curse on her, but I can't believe she was just speaking nonsense before her death. There's no doubt that 13 is special. I wish I could take her myself. As we prepare to shut down, I will confess that I will miss you, Sarah Gwynne. May God help you grow into the lady we all know you can be and not the product of your legacy. Let's begin. You remember, don't you? Your poor mother screaming in pain, gasping as she brought you here. All that time spent hiding, trying to protect you, failing to protect herself. 
All that time, sick and wandering, only to be brought back here to die. How her heart sank when they wheeled her in, knowing in spite of it all, they'd find you again. You're quite lucky, you know. Despite having you ended her life, she loved you, Sarah. She really did. The last thing she did protected you, cast you in light. And yet, the darkness, you know, the blackouts, the blackness so thick you can hardly see. It kept them from you, Sarah. It kept you being you, even when you didn't know who you really were. Sarah, we're ready for you now. Okay, I'm going to be an arsehole and end this episode here <laughs> just because of time. I fear we're, I feel we're near the end, so um, maybe the last one will be it. I'm not sure. Kind of seems like it. The story is being wrapped up. Cool. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll go straight into the next one. So I'll see you then. Ciao for now.